Welcome back to Girded with Truth and today we are getting into spiritual maturity. Turn with me to the book of Luke chapter 23. I'll read particular verses for us to understand how Jesus had spiritual maturity and verse 21 says this. But they cried saying crucify him, crucify him. Verses 33 and 34 says this, And when they were come to the place which is called Calvary, there they crucified him, and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. Verses 46 and 47 says this, and when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. Now, when the centurion saw what was done, he glorified God, saying, Certainly, this was a righteous man. So in verse 21, we see the same crowd Jesus healed, delivered, lives he transformed, people he touched, lives he impacted, we see the same crowd crucifying Jesus. They are shouting, crucify him, crucify him, because they want him gone. And in verses 33 to 34, we see Jesus with a humble heart, open to his purpose, saying, Father, forgive them. On, a, on the cross, dying Jesus is saying father forgive them because he knew he put his purpose he knew what he was called to do and he knew who he was Jesus had spiritual maturity Jesus resisted the urge to respond to the crowd and react to the crowd and continued in his purpose and this is what spiritual maturity is spiritual maturity is saying I lay down what I want to say to you for what God has to say to me and in verses 47 and 46 Jesus is saying crying out to God and saying father I commend my spirit into your hands and it said he cried out with a loud voice so here Jesus is pouring out his last bit of emotions unto God so he's not pouring out how he feels into the crowd because he know what he's called to do concerning people but he's pouring out his emotions his heart and his soul to God the Father because he knows that he needs to keep that connection with God the Father in order to make it to the end so even with his dying breath he says Father he cries out Father he commends his spirit into the hands of the Father. And this is how we need to place our lives into the hands of the Father. And when coming to the crowd, we need to know that even though we have impacted someone in one season, even though we have touched a life, even though we have invested in that person, that person can still come up against you and say crucify him but your responsibility as a mature believer as someone having spiritual maturity is to choose not to respond the way you want to is to choose not to react the way you're supposed to now the way you think you're supposed to and what you're really supposed to do according to the principle of God might be two different things so in any situation when it might be something petty it might be something you deem as big but petty to someone else comes up your responsibility is to hold your peace and pour out your heart your soul and your emotions to God the Father so today I'm saying don't let your emotions lead you don't let what the crowd is doing lead you. Don't let the pettiness of this life lead you. But instead, pour out your heart and your emotions to the Father and resist the urge.
to react and respond to the crowd because you are coming into spiritual maturity so today i declare that you are spiritually mature and that you are walking in that maturity not everything that you reserve the right to respond to needs an answer sometimes you must but hold your peace the rulers were criticizing him and saying if he's gone he will save himself the one of the thief was criticizing him and saying if you are god save us and save yourselves but instead he held his peace he knew what he had to do and he held his peace so that his purpose would be accomplished so that he could die for you and i and send the holy ghost to live inside of us so today somebody else is depending on you to complete your purpose somebody else is depending on you to hold your peace so i say to you today you should hold your peace even though you reserve the right to respond hold your peace because somebody is depending on you and god has entrusted that purpose to you for you to accomplish so today i encourage you don't respond don't react instead choose to hold your peace as you walk in spiritual maturity i do pray that you have a wonderful weekend and i will see you again on monday please god stay blessed and not stressed in Jesus'